Hello and welcome. In today's video, we have a Toyota engine in series one near engine code. Uh, it uh, goes to Yaris and Corollas, and uh, I don't recall what are the models. It's uh, from 2010. And uh, it's here because uh, it had uh, excessive oil consumption. The, the mileage of this uh, engine was uh, 100, 114,000 kilometers. And uh, it, consumed, uh, it consumed about one liter every 1,000 kilometers, too much. Here we are. Uh, here is the internals of the engine, and here is also camshafts, crankshaft. The thing with that engine is that uh, it had uh, it has a major design failure, if you can call it failure. You can see the bearings here are in very good condition very good condition also they are practically new so what's the problem with this engine why it consumed so much oil I'll show right away these are its pistons as you can see, it's heavily deposited with uh, oil residue underneath. And the reason for this is the oil control ring, the third one, this. This is the main reason why this engine consumes oil. For the record, I can measure it. No, just yet. This is the culprit of the problem. Uh, for this low mileage, these deposits are too much on the piston. As you can see, uh, the, oil, the oil control ring has some small holes, I, I don't know if you can see it, you can see them, no, ah, this, these oils, is very small, and if you don't change the oil regularly, this oil, uh, this, uh, these uh, holes are clogged, and the oil ring cannot do its uh, job properly, so, The fix for this, the fix is right here. Same piston, same exact size, not size. These pistons are uh, uh, point, uh, 0.5 oversize. That means they are uh, 0 0.5 millimeters bigger. So we, we have honed the engine. We have bored and honed the engine to fit the bigger pistons. The, what's the difference between these and the new ones? The pistons is the the difference is the oil control ring, and I will show you exactly what I mean. Here, the oil ring is. Two millimeters thickness. The old piston, the old piston, the control ring has only 1.5 approximately. So 
the original piston uh, control ring, the oil control ring, excuse me, is very thin. And uh, in addition to uh, not regularly changing oil, it clogs. It's uh, it don't have enough tension, and it's uh, letting oil bypass it, as you can see. Here, the oil ring. You can see the the spiral between the between. But here, but in the oil ring, it's all clogged up. The spiral can only be seen here in the middle. So, with this, uh, with this uh, solution, uh, the engine uh, does not have any problem with uh, oil consumption. We have done it many times with uh, good success, no problem so far. And uh, even though it's a big uh, and expensive job to fix, it's uh, only one time fixing. As you can see, the water jacket is very clean. It's not clean for me. It's, uh, it's as it was uh, when I dismantled it. Which means the owner of this car uh, uh, regularly served it, served it, changed the oil on time and all this. But yet, if uh, the problem is in the design, you can do anything. Another thing I want to show you is the is that, as you can see, from this side the piston is very clean, but on this side, on the other. It's not. It's heavily deposited with varnish and deposits. This is happening because I will show you the the block from this side has oil squitters here, here. They are not assembled yet, but you can see the holes. These squitters spray oil underneath the piston for uh, cooling it. For cooling it. It sprays from this side. That's why the piston is clean. In the other side, where there's no squitter, and the engine is, as you can see, not clean. Another thing, this, uh, another. Uh, Another thing this engine has, which is quite... Oh, oh, the bearings. You can see the bearings are almost new. So, this thing here, this thing here, goes, I'll show you. goes in the water jacket right here right here and its purpose according to Toyota repair manual is to keep the cylinder head cooler uh, because it uh, drives the coolant drives the coolant towards the head in the upper water jacket but I don't see any fins or something to to drive the water upwards I think it's just I think it's just to take the space below deck and so the coolant uh, goes up there's uh, more coolant in the upper deck than in the lower. I, I don't know how Toyota did it. I don't think I don't think it's a good idea. So 
this uh, is my solution to the problem and uh, until now it have worked very well and then in another video we will see the assembling of this engine and all the, the procedure thanks for watching